morning. How are we getting on guys and welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we've started combining the spring oats. We got finished drying about 50, 60 ton of wheat yesterday. That went through the drawer and that, that's, that's all in the dry sheds because all the wheat now, winter wheat's done. We had two really good days uh, cutting that. Then it rained as you've seen on the video. Um, we had about a couple of days after after that and we've managed to finish the winter wheat so like i was saying yesterday afternoon probably about four o'clock when i tested the oats and they were coming in at 11.2 moisture and they should be below they'll take them at about 15 and a half moisture so they're they're fit the straw isn't that fit it's still a bit green in the tram lines a little bit green as well but the heads are fit we have sprayed them off as well so they should um, the straw should die as it lays in the swath should be all right for for baling in about a week's time um so yeah i've got a trailer full here i'll show you the shed full you seem to get a lot of oats because they're a bulky crop you, you think oh yeah i'm going along steaming along dad steaming along and it's getting tank full after tank full whether that's to do with just how bulky they are or um it's a good crop, don't really know. Don't really know because we've never grown oats before. So I, I just think, because they're bulky, you, you think you've got a, a, a good crop. But I don't know, they're really light. Like I say, we've never grown them before, so don't know what the yield is. And like I say, till we get them on the lorry, and they're gonna take a job to load because they're so light, and the lorry driver wants 30 turn, and yeah, we'll see what they're like when, when we come and load them up, basically. But can get this unloaded, blow this tractor out because I did the 180 the other day, but didn't do this one. Um, yeah, clean all the filters, and yeah. But before I do any of that, I'll give a special mention because I keep forgetting. Classic Rob, keep keep forgetting to give a special mention to Harvester Parts Limited. Now then, if you're a farmer or engineer watching this channel, Harvester Parts Limited supplies combine harvester parts across the country. Got hundreds of parts. They've sorted us out with a fair amount of parts for our TX62, so they can do any uh, make of combine. They do old combines, new combines. They've got all the parts you need. Uh, here's a logo now, and I'll put a uh, number in the description of this and uh, I'm pretty sure they've got might have a Facebook page and an Instagram page as well. You can go uh, there and collect your parts. If you phone up and they've got them in stock, you can go and collect them or they'll get them delivered out to you through uh, whether FedEx or DHL um, and I believe they will do across uh, the UK. Don't know whether they do to Ireland as well, not sure. But if you're looking for parts, if you're struggling to find parts for your combine, I know it's a busy time of year and things go wrong, and you know we have we've had things go wrong and never helped us out. Um, yeah, just give them a call, look them up. That's Harvester Parts Limited. Good service, great people, and that's all you need. So yeah, go check them out. First time we've grown them, need a bit of straw in the sample, but difficulty setting a combine up just out of the uh, manual to start a new crop. So we've just got to find our own sort of settings for the 62. But we're loading, we're loading the shed. come out the trailer because they're they're light they don't they're not like wheat they sort of slide down but it's a good job they're dry because speaking to a neighbor before we cut them 
he said he'd cut some when they were damp, when they were wet, and they're a hell of a job to get out of the trailer, so. With it right up, it's fine, they slide out eventually. then we're just heading down the field dad's just started over there um we made a bit of a uh, uncalculated error yesterday and this morning i've now moved the elevator into another shed um, we're not going to hold all the oats in the shed where you've just seen me unload so i'm now filling in another shed up which will hopefully hold all the oats um, so that shed you started that shed i started filling all the oats have got to come out of there because we're never going to hold them all in there so they've got to come out of there and then the plan is to put beans in where you've just seen me tip the oats bit of a nightmare but it's a not it's a good nightmare do you know what i mean it's a good nightmare but we'll see how we get on today i mean as soon as the sun goes in Oats are a nightmare, come on, they get all chewy. Um, but we shall see. We just had a bit of dinner and I'm still eating a pear drop. So it is 11 o'clock. This is what we got done yesterday. About what, 15 acre yesterday afternoon chop the headlands i love how oat straw chops up literally there's nothing left look can't tell it's been uh, chopped and then obviously up and down not that much straw because it smashes up so much but we'll get this little field out of the way and then we've got half of this field to do and then we've got another 26 acre to do 26 27 acre to do after this which is our furthest fields away this bit here where i'm basically part of the tractor was uh we had a lot of rain near enough soon after we drilled it when it when it was up like that the oats uh so that's why this bit here was a bit green on the headland but i went and jetted that as soon as it rained and it cleared cleared most of it off the field but majority of it's fit and ready there's the odd places where it's green but if we waited for all the places where it's green to ripen up we'd end up losing half the crop because you can see how they're hanging over and if the wind just shakes that there's a there's a few on the floor already what was that chaff yeah there's the odd one look kicking about but nothing major most of it's the chat the uh, chaff on the outside the oats in the middle there if you can see we have got some dodgy tram lines in here so i say dodgy tram line just some rutted tram lines because that patch there like a couple of years back the beat after they got stuck when i got stuck plowing uh there and dad had to pull me out that's when we were plowing after the sugar beet uh last year there's a lot of water laying on there even though this feels tile drained uh and i've jetted them the water always seems to lay on that bit of soil it's just a weird bit of soil
got a lorry to load at quarter past five. He's just in, just rang me up. He's in Great Yarmouth, so it'll be a little while yet. So that's barley. That's another load of barley going, hopefully. He'll get here and that'll snarl the job up. All right, so the sample has improved since yesterday. One minute. Anyway, before I got rudely interrupted, um, the sample has improved a lot since yesterday. Dad's lowered the concave right down, put a bit more fan speed on, and happy days. We're not getting the straw in the sample at all. So, that's good. Good, good, good. Right, these settings down for next year. It's the next day now, we are back cutting the oats. It got damp at about half nine last night, so we've only just got cutting as well. Um, been cutting for about two hours, and then the combine's just uh, decided to have a little mishap. So here's me and Dad fixing it now. Uh, Mum's filming, so here's some amateur footage. A bracket that held a idler was welded onto the combine that had snapped, and um, so we made a little bracket and welded it back on. Um, fingers crossed, hope she holds. So that's about an hour, hour, and hang on a minute. She was over far a minute there. That's about an hour and a bit lost combining, but it could have been worse. Main question is, will we get done the oats today? Because tomorrow it looks like it's going to rain. And will I fit it in this shed? That's my question. I'll get another load in this bit here, and then I'll draw the elevator out, get a teleander in here and start shoveling it up, up there. Hauling her up. <laughs> 